so hello everyone so today we are going to discuss a interview question on for java so question will try to see so first question is like how to call one constructor from another constructor so if i write the question the question is let me write the question first how to call one constructor from another constructor so this is the interview question this question you will be asked in the java core interview so now let's try to understand the process of this calling one constructor from another constructor so now you can see here i have a class with the name student here so what i do is inside this student class i will declare some properties so i'll declare properties like private and i will say integer role number then i will say private string name and i will say private string quotes so i have three properties for the student one is role number one is name and another one is quotes so now let me create a constructor so first i will create a constructor where i will initialize only the role number so i will say public student in role number so here i am just trying to initialize only one property that is role number then i know this role number is inside a constructor so it is local variable and this is inside the class so it is called instance variable so whenever if you want to refer to this instance variable we have to use the this keyword so i'll say this dot role number equals to role number so now whatever data i give to this local variable role number that will be initialized to the instance variable role number so this is my first constructor where i am initializing the role number so now let me create one more constructor where i will initialize the name and course so i'll say student and by initializing the name and quotes i'll take one more variable for role number also and i will explain you what is the use of that role number so i'll say int role number comma string name comma string quotes so first thing we will try to initialize name and quotes so i'll say this dot name equals to name and again this dot quotes equals to quotes so this is how we create multiple constructor in a class so you can see i am having two different constructor so this is my constructor 1 and this is my constructor 2 so in first constructor i am initializing the role number and in the second constructor i am initializing the name and code so now what we have to do is as per the question i have to call one constructor from the another constructor so now from this constructor the second constructor i have to call the first constructor so if you want to call one constructor from another constructor there is a method available a predefined method in java so method name is this method so there is a method with the name this so how you can refer you are having this keyword so with the help of this keyword you can refer to current instance so you can refer to instance variable similarly with the help of this method you can refer to your constructor so how we can refer is i am saying this method name i am specified and now inside my class there is a constructor who is expecting a parameter that is integer type role number so when you are calling the constructor you have to pass the respective value from while calling so now what i'll do is 
since this is expecting a parameter, I will pass a parameter. So you can see here, I have taken another variable roll number. So I pass the roll number from here. So when I'm passing that roll number from here, so whatever value by calling you give to this particular roll number, that will be passed by the help of this function. And this will go to the first constructor and it will initialize the roll number in the instance variable. And next, the name and course will be initialized. So when you call one constructor from another constructor, you are using this function. And remember one more point, when you are using this function, it has to be used at the first line of the constructor. You cannot use this anywhere else. So just for an example, assume if I am using this function at last, so at the end of the constructor. So what will happen, we will get a compile time error saying, this must be called at the first statement in the constructor. So always remember this thing, whenever you are calling one constructor from another constructor, this function has to be used at the first line of the constructor statement. So this is one point. And when you call one constructor from another constructor, this process is also known as constructor changing. So if we are defining constructor changing, we can say like whenever we call one constructor from another constructor, it is called constructor changing. So now you can see we are calling first constructor from the second constructor and we are initializing the data now. And yeah, to verify whether all three variables are getting initialized or not, what do we do is we will override the two string method and check whether this is initializing or not. So I'll click on source. I will say generate two string method. Select all and generate. So I'll have the two string method. And next what I'll do is I will go to a class which is having a main method. At that main method, I will create object for the second constructor. And I will check whether I am able to call first constructor or not. And whether we are getting the value for all three or not, like roll number, name and course. So I go to a class. So I have class called main class, which is having a main method. So inside this main method, I will call the second constructor. So I will say student, student equals to new student. And the second constructor we will call here. The constructor which is having three parameters. Then first we will pass an integer value that is roll number. Then we pass a name. So I will say name as Samrat. And then I will pass the course. So course I will pass it as Java. So here I have called the second constructor here. So now let's try to print this student object and check whether all three variables are getting assigned or not. So before that I will just save both the classes. And I will just try to print the student object now. So system dot out dot print ln student and I will execute. So right click run as Java application. So the moment I execute, you can see here inside roll number I am having 10 name is Samrat and course is Java. So what actually is happening here? We are giving this 10. So my second constructor is getting called. So that 10 will be given to this roll number. And when JBM enters inside the constructor, it is saying, saying that we have a constructor call from here. So this dot roll number. So this dot roll number, after seeing this line, it will jump to the first constructor. Whatever value we had inside this roll number will be given to this particular variable. And then it will be initialized to our instance variable roll number. Next. There is no line of code in the first constructor. So it will come back to the second constructor. Then it will initialize the name and then it will initialize the course. So we can call one constructor from another constructor with the help of this function. And this function should be always used at the first line of your code. So first line of constructor should be this function when you are calling another constructor from the constructor. So this is an interview question, so which I wanted to explain you to everyone. So now I hope this information was 
sufficient for you. I hope this information was helpful for you. So if you find this information helpful, do like, share and subscribe the channel. So I'll see you in the next video. So with another question. So until then, bye and have a good day to all.